Okay, ladies and gents, today we are going to be talking about auto tiles. Now, I've opened up RPG Maker here, and as you can see, this is a completely blank project. I've just done this for you guys. So, what we're going to have a look at today, we go into the resource manager, have a look at tile sets. Um, outside too, that's a, a good one to preview. As you can see, this is how the auto tiles actually look. And you're probably thinking, how do I make one of these? Well, that's what today's episode is going to be all about. Because without a, a tile set like A2, you can't really do much of, of anything else. So, with that said, we just close this down let's minimize that for now and we'll go and have a look in critter now i've got the rtp up here so as we can take a quicker look at uh, how it's done a bit closer now with this being for vx ace this is the 32 by 32 um graphic tile sets now if you're using other versions the actual size of the the tiles might be different in your version so Please do bear that in mind. I do know the two latest, um, MV and MZ, they are 48 by 48. And, of course, the, the earlier ones, the 2000 and 2003, they use the 16 by 16. But for the demonstration today, these are the, going to be the 32 by 32. So, what I'll do, I'll just get rid of this outside A2 here. I don't need... Um, that anymore and what we're going to do we're just going to make a demonstration auto tile here this is purely to show you how this actually works so I'm going to be using some vibrant colors so that you can see a little bit better what's going on now as you can see on the um, software here I've actually put to show grid and that I've put as 32 pixels to make it a little bit easier for me I'm actually going to go with maybe not 8 16 and the reason I'm doing that is because this part here is actually the part that gets used as the the center of the auto tile so that part's the, for the icon that part's for the internal corners and this big part here is for the the external corners so what i'm going to do now is to briefly show you how this works i'm going to just fill this part in here fill that in uh, the red yeah okay and I'm doing it in this way so that you guys can see a little bit more easily how it's going on although that center one there is what it takes as the completed tile everything beyond that is what it's taking for the outer part of the tile as you can probably hear me me cats meowing at me as well right so next part next yes whiskers not at the moment so what i'm going to do here very simply i'm going to put a, a border around the outside because a lot of these auto tiles they uh, do have borders and I'm going to use a nice blue here just for these corners. You'll be able to see a little bit better, hopefully. That's why I've used such vibrant colours. Please don't use colours this bright in, your, in a proper tile set because if you did, you, you'd end up looking like... Oh, I don't know, like the Teletubbies has attacked your screen or something, so. Let's just get those filled in. 
And finally, what I'm going to do is colour shift this to black. And I'm putting these little guides here so that you'll be able to see a little bit more easily um, what's actually going on. Now, if we were to put this into RPG Maker right now, it wouldn't be particularly good. It's because it actually needs a little bit more information from us about how it, this is really going to work. So what I'm going to do now is just go back to 16 pixels so that we can see a little bit. Oh, I've gone and put it a bit too far down. What's the problem when it's the first one on the page? So all I need to do is just move this a little further up and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Right, that's better. Now this part here is going to be where we do the next bit. Because as I say, RPG Maker needs a, a little more information from us. To actually complete the auto tile. Now, as you can imagine, if when you're filling in an area and you've got a corner that's kind of indented, right? So, just co copy and paste that, and that was the top one on here. So we put that one down there. We'll get this one here. That's another top one. Copy and paste. And we put that one down there. Copy paste. And that one goes there. And this is the final one. Copy paste. And oh. Right, should do it now. Just needed to remember to merge my layers, that was all. Then we grab this colour here. Oh. Yeah, there's one thing I'll tell you about Critty. You can't have something still grabbed and draw anything. You have to make sure that you haven't still grabbed something. So, I'm going to put that like that. Flood fill the hell undo forgot to merge my layers so now the layers are merged I can flood fill that part right so the next thing we have to do is to get a, a little icon in there so if I was to just grab this Uh, the icon it doesn't it doesn't matter exactly how you do it as long as you know what that icon is going to represent then that's absolutely fine so what I'm going to do now right. save as New folder. Capital letter. So I'll call this um, tutorial tile sets. Go in go in go in go in go in go inside there. And we want to save this as a, a PNG image. So what I'm going to, to put in here is auto tile demo. 
yep that will do so we're going to save that okay now as you can see I've opened a tutorial project here so all I have to do now resource map sets import hold on desktop my stuff pixel art tutorial tile sets auto tile demo and that's showing me there how it's going to look that's that then I'll go on the database now as you can see I have to change the maximum number to five click on that so I'll just call it demo and then for the A2 ground I just have to select auto tell demo press OK and apply okay so now this map 01 map properties I'll select the demo press OK so this auto tail should work correctly as you can see it's filling up that space and when I move into a different direction like this it doesn't matter where I put these auto tails will still get the corners being there exactly as they should be right okay and that's pretty much how you would make an auto tail it's exactly the same for any type of auto tail of course there are some that you'll make that are without these borders and that will be the things like the grass things like that uh, but for the purposes of just showing you how the auto tail system works that's pretty much it there's nothing really complicated or anything like that I mean I was really confused when I first encountered them I thought how on earth am I going to make that but once you've done one honestly you get it gets way simpler so ladies and gents that's uh, everything for the auto tile for the moment um, so next time I'm online should be within the next couple of days or so uh, we're going to be making some actual proper tile sets so in the next one I'd like to go over doing certain textures we can do things like grass and cobblestone and all that kind of thing because you're going to need to know how to do those sort of textures uh, there's some things that they look hard but they're not hard if you understand what I'm saying so anyway with that said I'll leave you all to it and that's it for today guys bye bye